We assess her punishment at confinement in the Texas Department of Criminal Justice for a period of 10 years. Laura Hall sentenced to the maximum this afternoon, a total of 11 years in prison, more than twice her original sentence. Three years ago, Hall was found guilty of helping cut up the body of 21-year-old Jennifer Cave after Colton Petoniak killed her in 2005. She appealed her five-year sentence, hoping for probation. KXAN Shannon Wolfson was in the courtroom today for the new sentence. She joins us live with reaction from both families. Shannon? Of course, an appeals court threw out Hall's original five-year sentence. A new trial on that sentence was a gamble, of course, and it was one Laura Hall lost. After hearing her sentence, Laura Hall cried quietly and sat stiffly at the defense table. Just feet away, Jennifer Cave's mom, Sharon, doubled over and sobbed. Hall's parents got up quickly and headed for the door, pushing past cameras to get out of the courthouse. It's really disappointing because my daughter is innocent. I don't care what the system's saying out here. But Jennifer's family, who smiled through their tears and hugged investigators on the case, praised the same system. Do I feel like justice has been done? Do I feel like the system has worked? Yes. I hate the word closure. <laughs> I hate that word. Um, satisfied? You know, how can you be satisfied when your child is gone? When your child is dead, that there, there is no satisfaction. Hall appeared disgusted by the sentences. Ten years for tampering with evidence, plus another year to be served concurrently for hindering apprehension of Colton Petoniak. She's... Um, a dangerous person, we felt like. And uh, from their verdict, the jury cl clearly agreed with that. To show that, prosecutors played recorded phone calls Hall made from jail, where she threatened Jennifer's mom. This and they hammered that home during their closing arguments. Excited. We felt like it was a public safety issue, that um, this is somebody who's dangerous and needs to be confined so that our community will be safer. Sharon Sedwick says she is still afraid of Laura Hall, but declined to speak directly to her. Instead, she is remembering her daughter and imagining Jennifer's reaction. She's happy and she's at peace. That's all I ever wanted. Defense attorney Joe James Sawyer did not speak to reporters after the trial. The defense used most of their case to argue Hall's innocence rather than plea for a lighter sentence. Laura Hall will receive credit for time already served, about two years. We do not know yet if she plans to appeal this sentence. We're live in the studio tonight. Shannon Wolfson, KXAN, Austin News.